Come check out this and other products at our showroom in San Diego or online at www.fitdir.com. First, take out and check all items from the boxes. Start off by cutting out your hardware and opening your owner's manual. The owner's manual will feature a full list of the hardware that you have prepared. You may now open up your owner's manual to step one. For step one, we are going to align the right and left assemblies for the base frame. For step two, we are going to align the rear upright assembly and attach it to the base frame. It is highly recommended to have two people for this assembly step. Loosely tighten all hardware in this step. Do not fully tighten. Some components may need pre-assembly and or alignment during the assembly process. After attaching the right and left carriages to the selector posts, we can now insert these selector posts into the base frame. Be sure to position the reference numbers on the inside of the frame. Next, we will pre-assemble the pulley systems and attach them to the left and right assemblies of the top frame before we mount it to the base frame. Once the pre-assembly is ready, attach the top frames to the rear assembly post and left and right selector posts respectively. For step 7, attach the chin-up cross brace to the assembly. For step 8, clean the guide rods with a clean rag and silicon before slotting them into the base frame. Make sure that the threading of the guide rods is facing upwards when assembling. For the 150 pound weight stack assembly list, Use the 5 inch spacers as well as two washers to slide on to these guide rods. If you are assembling the 200 pound weight stack upgrade, omit the 5 inch spacers from the previous step. Before continuing on, we may now go through and fully tighten all of the screws from the previous steps and begin sliding the weight plates onto the guide rods. Once completed, attach the guide rods to the top frame and fully tighten the screws. Before applying the labels to the weight stacks, clean off the surface with a clean rag and an alcohol solution. Firmly press down the weight indication labels before removing the plastic. For the next step, attach the pulley systems to the top frame. 
Then, detach the hook end from the cable. Unfurl the cable and clean it off with a rag and silicone. Starting at the carriage, we can now begin sliding the cable through the system. Be sure to keep the cable in the grooves of the pulley systems. When feeding it through the top frame, tie off the end of the cable using the extra length to feed the cable through. Once through the frame, the cable will return to the starting carriage. Feed it back through the system and reattach the hook that we had detached earlier. Once this process has been completed for both sides of the pulley system, go through and tighten all of the screws. Remove any of the cable slack by adjusting the pulley system at the top frame. You may also adjust the angle of the top pulley system at this time. For the next step, grease the guide rods and do a couple test repetitions just to make sure the system flows smoothly. With the system running optimally, we can now attach the front and back cover plates. On step 17, attach the accessory holder for all of the workout accessories. Be sure to do one final checkup on all screws on the system to make sure that everything is tightened and ready to go. So there you have it, your assembly guide for the CDP300. Check out this and other products at our showroom in San Diego or online at www.fitdir.com.